Hi guys. Right, good morning everyone. Good morning. Y'all had enough sleep? Yeah. Yeah. The rest, the rest <laughs> sitting ready to go? Good deal. Good deal. Hey, welcome to New Orleans. Uh, if you don't know me, some of you do. I know some of you folks over here got me from a previous trip. How many have been down here before? Oh, good deal. Good deal. We got about, it looks like 50 to 60 percent. Well, we're glad that you're back and for you rookies, we're glad that you're here. And uh, we really want to have a great time. Yeah. <laughs> he does want to have it first in the flames yet. What? <laughs> I'm documenting this. Duck inside, we're full of warmer if you want. Thank you. Do you mind if I film it? Yeah, okay. We have we have pretty much. Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
kitchen and all the way back. So the uh, only y'all can have a peek inside, but we won't actually be doing any work inside of the house. We're gonna work on the porch. Yeah, we're gonna be working on the porch and then the whole exterior. So cool. For now, I'll show you what the place looks like. So uh, as you can see, the, everything except for the ceilings themselves have been gutted. Um, soon after the storm, they took all of the drywall and all the bad um, wooden things out of the house. And then you can tell just because of the humidity and all of the flood waters and standing water um, that the fan would even kind of sort of drape from gravity after a while. How high was the water over here? In this neck of the woods, it didn't hit double digits. It was like six, seven, eight feet, something like that. So, Whoa. <laughs> oh my so um, other parts of the city, so like, like here, right? I mean, about head level, I would say. I mean, from the ground, not from where we're standing. The house yeah. itself is raised a good number of feet as it is. Um, so uh, I would imagine at the very least the hardwood floors here sat a little while. Um, but basically, the kind of aftermath of the storm is that we have a lot of mold issues in different houses. So what people assume we could do um, after the storm is just gut where the standing water was and kind of get rid of the walls that had been uh, damaged and keep the existing um, ceiling structures. Turns out uh, after a couple more years you can see this black mold on the roof um, and so it obviously turned out that you know, that wouldn't fly and eventually stage two of this house like I said is to take out these ceilings wearing like hazmat suit protection and all that fun stuff so uh, <laughs> oh and then God. do a mold removal process which just means cleaning the existing um, wood rafters that are above this pry wall that you see so that'll be something we tackle with a, another group um, the reason we want to work on the exterior first is because when you do mold removal you want to make sure to contain um, the outside of the house and when, when you're working in the house all that kind of loose debris and dust and mold get kick, gets kicked up a little bit and you want to be able to trap it let it sit overnight and then do like a vacuum and clean of everything that's fallen on all the kind of flat surfaces. So um, we have a few windows replaced, but our kind of job is just to get the outside looking tip top and then with another group in the next week or two, we'll start the process inside here. So. Videographers here. Hey guys. <laughs> <I'm> the archival. <laughs> oh, can't find where I snapped. <laughs> hey Max. Hey, hey Sam. Pardon. Yeah, buddy. Dana, have anything to say to the camera? Hey, I'm covered <laughs> in paint. Oh, <laughs> 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 my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but yeah, I'm covered in paint. Ready? Ah! <laughs> Alright, I got it. <laughs> Max is spotting me. Give give credit to Max. He's okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just as high. Because I'm a rock climbing award. Cookie, you look so concentrated. I am concentrated. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kendall. <laughs> Jane, is it okay if but I paint on there? During this season, oh, yeah, yeah. so far we but haven't actually had that much competition. But then for indoor conference, well, that would be Awesome. Those are park guys, right? Yeah, and Hinsdale's good, but we haven't actually like burst our teams during the season until now. So it was like a wake-up call that we needed to actually like... You know. So... 